great honor to introduce our first speaker for today's rally. Please give the warmest possible welcome to the Palestinian ambassador to the UK, Hassan Zamla. Friends, seekers of justice, marchers for peace, today is a very significant day. Today, the UK and Europe marks Armistice Day. Today, we remember and honor those who lost their lives in war. And we remember those who are still falling today. Today is a reminder for all of us that our history, our history, humanity's history is connected, is one. Today is a reminder that it is only once the guns fall silent that peace can be achieved. This is why we are here today to call for cease fire. Cease fire now. Cease fire now. Cease fire now. My friends, the UN was created in 1945 to prevent war and establish rules for conduct in war. But throughout its history, Israel has been tearing up those laws. It tore them up in 1948, the Nakba. It tore them up in 1967, the occupation. It has ignored these rules ever since, maintaining an illegal military occupation, building illegal settlements in occupied territory, and committing a crime against humanity after a crime against humanity. After decades of impunity, Israel is undermining the very foundation of our, our international order, the very foundation of our universal values. Today, Israel is bombing the United Nations in Gaza, literally. It has killed more than a hundred UN aid workers. It has killed nearly 11,000 innocent people in Gaza, and more than 175 in the West Bank. Yet, there are still no demands from the UK government on Israel to cease its brutal war on the Palestinian people. There are no demands on Israel to stop starving, starving, to 2.3 million people. There are no demands on Israel to stop killing children. Children! They have already killed nearly 5,000. 5,000 children. Do, do Palestinian lives matter? Do Palestinian lives matter? Do they matter? Yes. Is the life of a Palestinian child worth less than any other child in the world? No. Is the Palestinian life worth less than anyone in the world? No. Is the future of our children, Palestinian children, less important than any other in the world? 
friends, Great Britain is renowned for its commitment to the rule of law and championing free speech. And yet, there are politicians who want to ban marches like this. This, this has been described as a hate march. A hate march. A demonstration demanding a ceasefire on Armistice Day is described as a hate march. This only, only makes sense if they want to silence you. Will you be silent? No. Will you be silent? No. The British people are famous for their love of those who struggle for freedom. Remember, remember how you stood up against apartheid South Africa? It took decades, but you prevailed. The British people are also famous for their community cohesion and respect for one another. I look around, I look around you, I see tolerance, I see love, I see all communities, I see all colors. I look around and I see Muslims, Christians and Jews. And please, please applaud, applaud our Jewish brothers and sisters who are with us today and have been with us for 75 years. Applaud them, applaud them. This is what the UK is about. This is what our humanity, humanity is about. This cross solidarity is what we are all about. Respect for law, love for one another, and solidarity, solidarity with the oppressed. These are the human values. These are the British values we celebrate. This is what this march is about. All of us, all colors, all, religion, all religions demanding to end Israel's br brutal assault. Do not, do not let them divide you. United we stand. United we prevail. This is the power of the people. This is the power of the people. And my friends, allow me, allow me a last message to my Palestinian brothers and sisters, to the great, great nation of Palestine. These are very difficult days. I share your pain. I share your fear. I share your sorrow. Ya Shabi, Ya Uda Naddi, Ya Agla Min Ruhi Andi, Inna Bakun Ala Al Ahdi, Inna Bakun, Lan Narda Azaba Zinzana, Lan Narda Azaba Zinzana, Wakuyuda Zulma Wakudbana, Wanikasa Al Juay Wahirmana, Illa, Illa, Lina Fukka Wifaka Al Kamar Il Maslub. ونعيد إليك الحق الحق المسلوب ونطول الغدا من ليل الأطماع حتى لا تشرى وتباع حتى لا يبقى الزورق دون شراع يا شعبي يا عود الندي يا أغلى من روحي عندي إن باقون على العهد إن باقون These are the words of توفيق زياد poet who was prisoner of Israel and the mayor of Nazareth. We endure hunger and deprivation only, only to break the shackles of the crucified moon and give you back your stolen rights and rescue tomorrow from the night of greed. My friends, let us rescue tomorrow. Let us rescue tomorrow. And I promise you, the Palestinian people will never, ever stop fighting for our rights. We will never stop the struggle for our future. 
the struggle for our future, for our children, for our mothers, for our hope. Today is a moment of unity. This is the moment we defend our values, your values, humanity's values. We are one united people in Gaza, in Jerusalem, and all over the world. And we, and we, the people demand cease fire now. Cease fire now. And we demand, and we demand free 